Oh, well, it's a good another good morning here in New York. It's the second weekend now. Today is May eighth, and it looks like it's going to be dry finally. So it's about thirty eight degrees this morning. Should clear up a little bit today. So hopefully, hopefully they'll be gobbling this morning. We'll see. All right, here we go. Another morning heading into the woods. Uh, it's been light rain all night. Uh, it's just sprinkling right now, which isn't too bad. So I'm meeting Justin uh, here at our spot that we're going this morning. Um, it's a farmer friend's property here. And uh, we're gonna make a little game plan here. We're going in blind, but we know they, they've been here the past few years. So we'll see uh, what happens this morning. So uh, stay tuned and uh, Hopefully uh, Justin or I can get a bird on the ground this morning. Here's Justin. Ready? Yeah. Let's get him packed up and get in there. Worked away about a half a mile down the edge of this next woods, and he just haven't heard anything. So I don't know. It should be a perfect morning. I don't know if it's too cold or what, but we can go try somewhere else. something here uh, wide open fields. Yeah. Let's pop this decoy up right over here. Pop this decoy up quick. Alright. Alright, so we had nothing uh, gobbling on the roost this morning. So we drove back here in this big open uh, plowed field and we got up to the edge and we we're just about to make a call and all of a sudden a turkey gobbled about probably 250 yards into the wood lot. So uh, we're getting our stuff together right now. And uh, we're gonna head in, see if we can get them. Come on, get up. Get up. Get up, brother. <laughs> The decoy over here, and we gotta get over here though. So the decoy's behind us. All right, gotta be careful though, cause he's right over here. To locate him again before we do this, just in case he's coming in closer out to the field. in there a little bit. Still in the same spot. Yeah, crawl out and put that decoy out there. Sit though. That's right here somewhere. Got his blow up turkey again. He likes that thing. Well, 
we just had that turkey goblin there. We got set up along the field here, and they just shut up. He didn't, we haven't heard him since, so I don't know if he saw us, or... We're thinking maybe that he's just roosted still. And he was on the edge of this ravine, and maybe he flew down towards the bottom, so... We're gonna go that way, and hopefully that's what he did. We're gonna see if we can get him to gobble again. We'll see.
Yeah, baby. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Woo. He's down. He is down. Get him. Get him. Oh, we split up and it worked. Jamie was on the top of the bank because he was heading along the bank and I was on top. Come right in. Yeah, baby. Let me zoom out. There are two of them. Two. Where is he? Where did that sucker go? Did he go over the bank? There he is. There he is. That's a long beard right there, baby. Woo! Beautiful bird. Good spurs. Good rope on them. About an inch spur. Yeah. Good bird. Probably about a nine and a half inch beard. Good deal. That turkey thought he was going to give us the deke. I tell you, he gobbled like crazy this morning on the roost there, but as soon as he flew down, he shut up. And he, uh, he came in the first time, and he kind of saw us a little bit. He wasn't sure what we were. Got a little nervous, kind of went away, and then he was still gobbling to us, so we knew we still had a chance at him. So what happened was, when he flew down, he flew down over this bank and on this little uh, shelf. He was just working that shelf back and forth. He just didn't want to come back up this bank to us, so <clears throat> we decided to split up. Jamie got along, the, we got way out in front of him the way he was hiding, and Jamie Jamie got on the edge of the bank so we could see him coming along the bank, and I got on the top, in case he come to the top. And like you just saw, man, he came right in. Jamie, Jamie got him, he's down there with him right now, so I'll head down and check it out. It's a nice bird, boy, he's a big one. So let's go check him out. Finally, it took all morning. He wouldn't come up the ravine. I know. He wouldn't come up. They just snug. They just took right, you know, snug to this ravine here. He's a good one. Yeah. There are two of them. Yeah. Two of them came in, and uh, they're standing. I think he was right here when I shot, and I was way over there. But he was like looking. I didn't want him to get leery and take off, kind of oh. like last time. Yeah. How uh, far away was he? I'd say around 50, 55. Yeah? 50 nice. yards. Awesome. Yeah, Drop them. Woo! Yes! <laughs> All, All right. right. This is beard. beard. Probably inches. about a 10 inch. 10 inch beard. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Nine and a half, 10. See? Yep. But nice big red. Blue head. Oh, I could, you could see his head as plain as day come through the woods all morning. Right? Oh, Every nice time he, white head. Yeah, real white. I didn't even know there was two of them. Me neither, until I saw him come in. <laughs> yep, he was just hanging on this little bench here. And I shot right through there. Like a... He did not want to go up there. Mm -hmm. He didn't want to go up on that no, bank right there. I was right up there, and Jamie was right over there. Well, what an exciting morning that was. Oh my gosh. We uh, didn't hear anything on the roost this morning, uh, so we took a ride over uh, to a property we can hunt where there's big plowed fields. And uh, we got out of the truck, 
made a couple crow calls and we heard a gobble right away. Um, so we tried setting up right there where we were, but it didn't work out. He must have been in the tree still. Um, so when he flew down, he shut up for a few minutes. Uh, so then Justin, you know, decided that maybe we should, uh, you know, circle around the woods and maybe he flew down in the ravine and we just don't hear him anymore. And yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, we got over here in the corner where he was and then we did a locator call. He gobbled, so then we started turkey calling to him. And man, he was hot, he come right in. And then the first time he kind of got nervous and didn't like what he saw exactly, so he kind of went away. And then he wasn't spooked though, really. He just kind of got nervous, so. We were able to call him back in. Eventually he was working this bank. He did not want to come back up to this bank. And uh, so we made, made a decision to split up. And Jamie got on the top of the bank here so we could watch the edge, and I got on top, and we just started calling, got aggressive. And he ended up coming right in, and Jamie made a good shot out of him about 55 yards. Yep. So, so here it is. Deal. Our our first turkey this this season. Yeah. And involved in four other ones so far. It's second weekend of the season. They're tipping TV. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> COVID. All right, he's all tagged. Now it's your turn to get a bird. This uh, Remington 12 gauge Super Mag did the trick again. Extra full choke, 0.662, three and a half inch Magnum blends. Those things are awesome. I think they have uh, number fours, fives, and sevens in them. The Magnum blend shells. Uh, Surprised it didn't knock you over. They're huge. Oh, it's a cannon. It's a cannon. But, <laughs> Did you ever uh, see a midget shoot a gun? <laughs> well, now you have, folks. <laughs> <laughs> that long beard was tricky, man. He's he tried to throw a bunch of different tricks into that hunt for us, but uh, it all worked out in the end. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs>